On the Teacher Chromebook only, when the stylus is chosen, five items show. In the previous video, the magnifying glass and laser pointer were discussed. Now the other three will be overviewed. All three go to the same G Suite app, Google Keep. If you click on Create Notes, one will be able to see a whiteboard space with several features. From right to left, you'll see that you'll be able to click on the square and you'll see different backgrounds such as rules and dots and square or none. When you click on the one next to it, it is a highlighter. You may be able to highlight things that you have for students. You may also see that you have different colors for the pens and you have different widths for them as well. You can clear the page by the drop down arrow or you can just simply click on the eraser and just erase one thing. When you're ready to save, you click the back arrow and it creates an actual post-it. You can make this post-it a different color if you wish and then you will see your whiteboard space behind. You'll be able to, if you click on the three dots, you can copy it to your Google Docs and then you can share it with other students via Google Classroom. You may also be able to just share it directly with students by adding a collaborator by clicking on the little person with the plus sign. The other two features are Capture Screen and Capture Region. When you click on Capture Screen, it will give you two options, Copy to Clipboard or Annotate Image. When you choose Annotate Image, it will go to Google Keep again. When you click on Capture Region, it will ask for the stylus to be used to select the area on the screen. Once it's selected, it will give the same options to either copy or annotate the image. If you choose annotate the image, you go to Google Keep once again. The next video will go over how to annotate on any document as a PDF within Google Classroom.